Good morning guys, uh, welcome back to Breathe Holidays and uh, today we start the new lab, lab number 6. Lab number 6 is uh, operation and maintenance of cooling tower. Cooling tower is one of the important uh, component of uh, a centralized TAC system and uh, we will see here uh, two, three uh, different types of cooling tower uh, and uh, used in the in this uh, CNAQ and to, for uh, study purpose. And uh, this is in fact, this is the bench top cooling tower, bench top cooling tower. This is for demonstration purpose. And the important parts are here. This is the, uh, like a fan, induced fan. That fan will suck air and it goes through the, to the, uh, for, uh, force air to the uh, uh, bottom side of the cooling tower and it goes up. Cooling, this is the induced fan or uh, blower like this is sucking air and it's pushing the air to the, uh, in, in, like inside of the cooling tower. And then there is the, this is the uh, fills, you can see the fills here, fills. And here, this is the water, what is it? here there is a water, and this water is pumped and uh, it is going to the, this is hot water, this hot water is going to the uh, uh, pipe here, and in the pipe there is spray, nozzles are there, that spray, that nozzle will spray, <coughs> hot water. And uh, this air will cool, and uh, then the air will cool the hot water and uh, the cold water will be collected at the base here down and it is used for condenser purpose. Condenser will condense, that is used for condensing the uh, refrigerant in the condenser. And the hot air, uh, the will go escape here and with the uh, uh, water particles will go uh, through the top. That is the important part. And here there is a fourth valve also here, fourth valve. This fourth valve is actually to uh, control the level of water in the tank here to supply water to the uh, cooling tower. So this is the float valve here. And uh, then this is the uh, electric control system. <coughs> temperature control system also here. This is a temperature knob here, control. And for controlling the temperature of the uh, incoming supply water to the uh, pipe, there, there are a lot of uh, nozzles are there to spray water to the uh, inside of the cooling tower. These are the important parts. Now let us see how it works. <coughs> So now you can see the sound. This sound is actually forcing the air to the inside and also the pump is working and from the tank the water goes to the pipe here and nozzle. To the nozzle the water is sprayed to the fields and uh, the, it will escape from the top the uh, air coming from here to go and will be including with the water particles. So here you get collect the uh, cold water here. And the temperature also here, the temperature of 18 degrees centigrade. And you can adjust different temperatures also, you can hear different temperatures, 26 like that, you can adjust. And uh, accordingly, you'll get the different temperatures uh, water uh, in the basin down, cold water down. And uh, this is also a, a cold measuring device. Supply of water, how much quantity of water uh, supply to the, uh, uh, to the cooling tower. Uh, to, uh, so that uh, discharge of water to the uh, supply cooling tower and that also can be measured from here, this is the uh, four meter. So these are the, these are the important parts and they will get also here, wait for some time then we will get the cooling cold water down. That cold water is used for uh, condensing the uh, refrigerant, vapor refrigerant in the condenser. This is a forced induced craft uh, cooling tower. And it's made of uh, PA Hilton uh, limitation. Now coming to here, there is this is a student project. This is also another cooling tower. And in fact, uh, this is not connected to the pipeline, so that, uh, that that's why I cannot uh, start the. Uh, this cooling tower and here also this is the through this side the uh, air called uh, the air is going through this uh, here the small gap here to the gap the air is coming uh, inside the cooling tower and then the air will go up and this is called the fields you can see the fields are here and uh, here this is the water this is a water tank and here the water is coming here and this is a valve here and here there is the uh, that is nozzles on the green pipe and that green pipe through the green pipe nozzle the water will be sprayed down through the fields and it will get collect the cold water here that is how it works but unfortunately there is no water 
<laughs> otherwise we could have we could have seen the water spread through the nostrils down to the nos uh, fills and uh, the water will be cut here and that can be used for condensing the uh, refrigerant vapor in the condenser and become uh, liquid refrigerants and here you can see here this air is going out after uh, uh, going through the fills and up this is the place where the air is going same like the previous one also now one more thing here you can see this is also <coughs> another cooling tower <coughs> and this is the compressor this is the supply stasis uh, cooling tower system and you can see this is the compressor here this is the compressor and this is the condenser and then there is a condenser pump here compressor water pump here and this is a cooling tower so this cooling tower same like before this is also a student project before uh, some of the capstone project of the students and uh, here is the cooling tower and uh, this is made of a, a thin sheet and uh, here this is the hot uh, air goes to atmosphere and uh, these are the pipe connections and they can control the from the valve here to control the flow of liquid uh, water to the cooling tower and uh, then then there is the compressor and uh, here the uh, evaporator and this is the air tube where the, there is a blow this is a filter is there and there is a blower is there and that uh, through the uh, in the air tube the cold air will be supplied to the various uh, buildings and rooms like that so that's about uh, this uh, uh, cooling uh, arrangement so here what happens when the compressor compress the refrigerant <coughs> see this refrigerant comes to the condenser here and the condenser uh, the conden the, it will condense the uh, vapor by the water getting from the cold water getting from the uh, cooling tower and then then the liquid refrigerant goes to the evaporator here is the evaporator and the evaporator here also with a pipeline here this pipeline also here and then this liquid refrigerant here uh, here uh, there's a chiller here and the chiller will uh, cool the, uh, the the liquid refrigerant will cool the uh, uh, water in the chiller and then that chiller water will go to the AHU and the end the AHU again the uh, uh, when uh, the blower blows air through the chilled water the water gets cold and that water is sorry air is cold air is used to for cooling purpose in uh, distributing to the through the duct through the various buildings for cooling purpose that's about this is a very good uh, project by the students and uh, these are the important parts cooling tower condenser condenser pump this is the uh, compressor and this is the operator and there's a chiller here a tube and then there's a duct the project for uh, uh, students of uh, here before may, uh, previous years on the projects of the uh, caption projects that's about uh, this uh, cooling the application so we have seen three types of cooling tower so cooling tower is very important and uh, please follow the uh, read all the go through each uh, line of the pages of the uh, lab report lab number six uh, operation maintenance of cooling tower and uh, answer the questions and complete the lab report and label the parts also and uh, uh, brief description of each uh, equipment also uh, uh, below the picture uh, you should uh, write uh, brief discussion about how it works and the important parts and things like that so uh, that's about this lab thank you